All right, Coach, congratulations Thank you. on your first Big 12 win. What does this one mean, especially to do it in you know big fashion tonight? Yeah, to do it the UCF way, like we talked about, taking what we did and we talked about doing up here in this room, like call this the classroom. They took it to the playground. It was nice to see. And, and to do it in front of our own fans, that was great. How do you compare the team's performance tonight versus last weekend against Oklahoma? I mean, obviously, polar opposites. Just the way we attacked the game, um, got a second chance at this thing, and they, they took advantage of it. Which, like, about Ben Vespi and how he's pretty much able to dominate out there. Yeah, and, I mean, look at the. That's like the three last starts. He had a really good start in Oklahoma. He had a chance to get off the field with the with the defensive play, didn't. I mean, his last three starts have been like that, and to do that on one day shorter rest, like he did, couldn't be more proud of him. Last last game one errors ended up biting you guys in the in the rear. This time around, it, it, the errors bit Oklahoma State in the rear tonight with getting you that kind of early ed, edge there. What talked about how the team responded after that little defensive stuff when they did one last time? Yeah, I think when I mean, we always preach defense, we're always going to preach defense as long as I'm here. Um, and some of those plays were like your normal standard routine plays, and there were some plays out there that were above average defensive plays. That double play in the six where Australia had to go to his left flip and turn it like that's a that's an upper level double play and that was nice to see yeah i was about to ask you about that because uh, there was a mound visit just prior to that and yeah. you know oklahoma state was threatening that was something you guys talked about like let's go out and execute a double Correct. play here right yeah and we, just with the situation of the hitter like it was we're punching this guy out or we're throwing pitches to get double play like we're not in between and he threw the right pitch at the right time we were set up for it and, but you, you still got to execute it and we did he also had that run support there from all over the place. Five home runs. Lex, in particular, five RBIs, four for five. What did you see out of him tonight? I mean, he was on it. You could tell. You could tell early, like he's starting to get hot. And that's. I mean, we're really into the part where those upper level guys they start getting going. Um, and it was all over the field too. Pulled a slider on another fastball. The offense as a whole, like you saw some bunting, you saw some base running, you saw some power, you saw some two strike hitting. It was. It was pretty versatile. That's how big was it just to get a win after what happened last weekend. I know you guys know you're better than that, but to just get it, you know, get that first victory out of the way in the conference. One hundred percent. Like you're just looking. When we left this room, like, hey, let's just start playing UCF baseball and fight for every pitch. And the kids, they they did that too. And it didn't start off great, but like the first pitch of the game, and Matty Previs is on like right to center field, and then they kind of battle through. Vespi gives us a chance to get rolling, and we got rolling. Yeah, of course, Andrew Williams added added a couple more home runs to to his total total, total tonight. Even though just the home runs in in general in, in general are quite on today. Yeah, and I think we have that capability. Like we talked about before, like most of those guys, we can run some balls out of the ballpark if we swing at the right pitches and, and do what we're supposed to. I was proud with, with Willie the way he responded. Those first two at bats weren't great. And he got better as the night went on, which is hard for a young guy to do. Yeah, talk more about Willie and what he's providing. There's a lot of vets on this team, but he's one of the young guys playing. Yeah, and he and we talked about it in the fall, like when we rolled into the first ever fall game. I brought him in the office. I was like, Willie, you're not starting this game, but we're talking about starting a freshman on a team full of upperclassmen. That's where you put yourself. You just got to keep working. Like he's he's pretty gifted. There's power, arm strength. I think he can play center field. He can run the bases. You're just trying to like you're seeing him kind of grow up in front of our eyes. You had, uh, of course, Spencer and Chris coming in in, re re in relief. After last weekend, what was it like to see them kind of rebound tonight? Yeah, and Spence was good the other night, and he's going to be big for us going forward. He's a guy that's closed games at this level, um, and getting him going has been kind of a priority for us. And sauces that's two outings, maybe three outings in a row where he's been really good. It's going to be key tomorrow, kind of, you know, shuffling the rotational bit and moving Dom off a day. Uh, what do you want to see out of him tomorrow? I want to see the Dom we saw the other week against USF, just pounding the strike zone with multiple pitches, defend your position, just be Dom Stagliano, and then we'll get this thing rolling again. He also had uh, changed up the rotation because Kate Boxer is going to pitch later in the weekend. Mm -hmm. just wanted to ask what kind of get, give you the idea to get, get, what did you think about moving Cade into the weekend? Right? Well, some of his starts in the midweek have been really good, and he's got some of the best stuff on our team. He's earned a shot to start on the weekend, and he's getting that shot. Yeah, kind of a fun question. We were uh, Bryce and I were talking during the game about walk-up songs. So that's been a thing for a while. I was trying to remember. I, he actually looked it up. It was the Mariners in the early '90s that kind of popularized the recorded yeah. walk-up song. Did you have one here when you played? Was that a thing when you played? Do you remember? Yeah, I think once we moved over here, we did. I have no idea what mine was. Because <laughs> I remember. Do you remember what your walk-up song no, was? No, I don't. I don't. But I remember that was like a big thing when we finally moved over here. Instead of being at Tinker Field. I don't remember any kind of music at Tinkerfield, um, but yeah. yeah, I have no idea. I, we always talked about it. I thought it was like the movie Major League. Like, yes, that think, was that's yeah. when it Rick for closers. That's kind Correct. of what made it a thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. and 90% and of our teams never even seen Major League. So. <laughs>
Yeah, so you know the ten run rule is that something that I guess I look like other like ACC, SEC has. Yeah, so in our conference games, in our league, if it's a doubleheader, we do it, and they do it on the getaway day. Okay. So. Okay. Was your first win at home uh, in the conference against a coach who has six forty-one seasons? How does it feel? Uh, I mean, I'm just proud of the guys the way they the way they went about it. Whether who's in, I don't care who's in the other dugout. Like he's a really really good coach. That's a really good program. We played a great game. That's that's my focus on that. Good. Good stuff. Good. Appreciate it. Thank you, Thanks guys. Thanks a lot, coach. Appreciate it. Thank you.